we know squamous odontogenic tumor comes under the category of being completely a benign epithelial odontogenic tumor however it does have the potential to be aggressive uh, locally aggressive just like the first two tumors we spoke about well the uh, squamous odontogenic tumor is said to arise from the tissue remnants found on the lateral root surfaces of the erupted tooth that is the remnants of dental lamina or the cell rest of malazes it is uh, more common among the young adults and it does have a slight amount of male predilection uh, when compared to women and uh, mandible is the most commonly involved area when the mandible is involved the area which is more commonly involved is the bicups, uh, bicuspid or molar area and in the cases of uh, maxilla uh, the region which is more commonly involved is the incisor cuspid area well the lesions are often asymptomatic but presenting manifestations include mobility of the involved teeth uh, there could be pain tenderness to percussion and occasionally uh, abnormal sensations may be felt um talking about the um radiographic features of squamous odontogenic tumor it presents as a well circumscribed often a semi lunar or a triangular shaped unilocular radiolucent area with sclerotic border and the lesions are usually present interspersed between a uh, contiguous teeth uh, near their uh, roots and uh, similar uh, lesions can be multilocular in nature also uh talking about the histopathology this is pro uh, probably the most important aspect of the tumor as a lesion is often uh, mistaken uh, or depending upon his logical identification as a canthomatous amyloblastoma or as a well differentiated epidermoid carcinoma now most investigators believe that it is rep represents as a benign odontogenic neoplasm probably arising from the cell rest of malazes although uh, hamartomatous epithelial proliferation has also been considered now microscopically a uh, squamous odontogenic tumor presents as irregularly shaped islands of well differentiated squamous epithelial helium in a mature uh, fibrous connective tissue stroma now the islands can be round or oval in shape and there is a uh, absence of peripheral palisaded or polarized uh, basal cells now the individual cell keratinization is often seen in this tumor moreover focal areas of a keratin or parakeratin formation by neoplastic epithelial cells is also sometimes noticed well treatment includes enucleation curettage and local excisions and uh, when there is a clinically aggressive lesion it has to be treated by an end block excision for more such videos please like share follow and subscribe my youtube channel you can also follow me on instagram have a good day thank you